Here's our little carburetor and um, what we have is we've got two screws with springs underneath them. Uh, the one screw you will see is this one, the other one is that one. This one is just to keep this throttle in place. You see if I have it in this position, stays like that. If I'm going to just loosen it a little bit. You will see it will not stay in that position. That's basically all it's doing. Okay. Keeping the throttle in place. Okay. So that's not really... If you are going to uh, even lose, uh, lose this, then it's not really a train smash. Um, this one is a little bit different though. Okay. The small one. And the reason being is this is uh, there to adjust the uh, air fuel mixture, okay? And one would tend to think uh, the more fuel you have, the faster it would go. It's actually <laughs> working off ops almost the opposite of that, okay? Uh, if you've got too much fuel in your air fuel mixture, it's performing worse. Um, so that has to be set at the correct position to be working at this optimum now the thing is about this um, if you are going to change that it's not a train smash you can always try to adjust it back i even do that without any sensors or fancy equipment uh, i would just start it up and change it until it run it's running at its fastest uh, for a specific throttle position and that they are it works um, But yeah guys uh, Try not to to fiddle too much around with that one. Okay um, then Over here uh, First thing that we are going to do is we are going to remove this or just loosen that nut first We are just going to loosen it. Okay and then we are going to loosen this one totally okay we are going to remove it okay so this one we just loosen it up a little bit here we go and then if you have loosened up that one you will see we can um, most likely turn the bottom one and let's loosen it up a little bit more here we go and that it's then we can yeah, maybe you will need some kind of spanner just to loosen that one as well. Okay, that one needs a little bit more loosening up. You see, it's tightening itself as you loosen up the bottom one. Okay, so there we go. And we can... Okay, and then you can remove all of that. There we go. Okay. So, that's now the first piece of operation. We're going to place this somewhere else. These things we do not want in our carburetor. Then, over here, uh, we've got two screws. Okay. Uh, this one, I've told you, uh, don't fiddle to around with it too much. You can remove it. Sometimes you need to remove it to clean it up in the, on the inside. This one you need to remove, okay? That is to remove the bottom fuel tank over here. And um, you need to remove two screws. This one, as well as that one over there, okay? So, and um, while I'm going to do that, most of the times your tank is full of a little bit of liquid fuel. Um, so, petrol, you want be very careful when you do that because you can have a little bit of spillage mm. okay. here it comes okay I'm going to just put it here on the side this one over there as well next just Turn it around so that you can possibly see what I'm doing. Okay. 
Here we go. That little screw. Screw that one. Now, if we remove the fuel tank, we will see we've got the float inside. Okay. That is to have a certain amount of fuel inside of your fuel tank. Okay. And um, so if it goes up, it actually presses onto this little part. Here is that now, this little part. And you will see if it presses against that, you have now this thing. That's going to be your needle and seat. And that's going to close up. Okay. It's going to go into a hole and then it's going to close it. So, and that will prevent more fuel coming in. So, it actually regulates the amount of fuel that's in your fuel tank, in this little fuel tank of yours. Um, yeah. Part of the reason why they incorporated uh, fuel injection into aircraft many years ago, because if you turn this thing upside down, fuel is going to run out of it. Okay. And now we have... These things all over the place, fuel injection all over the place, very nice thing to have. Now I just need something sharp over here, have to just, I'm going to somewhere use, I usually have a screwdriver for this, here we go, here it is, okay, screwdriver, and then over here, here we go, that thing, you should be very careful not to let these things get lost, okay, uh, then we can remove that quickly over there, okay, over there, got this horseshoe thingy, let's place it over there, and then we've got now this, and this goes into that little hole over there, that little hole, and goes into that hole, and if it, this is where the fuel will come in, into the fuel tank, right, okay, so in any case, there we go, we can clean that up, obviously. Um, it might get sticky sometimes. I know this specific carburetor is like that. It gets sticky. And then what happens is, yeah, fuel will come rushing out of that little hole and it will fill up the fuel tank until it overflows. Okay. So, yeah, that is something that you definitely can clean. Um... Just make sure that I have all the parts. Uh, if any of these parts get lost, then uh, I don't know. You can okay. So then you can go and clean up all of this. You can maybe unscrew this as well. Okay. Not a big problem if you do. Let's see, is this small enough? Ooh, just a little bit too big. Why do I think this is going to fit? Here we go. There we go. Loosen it up a little bit as well. Just remove that. Oh, it's quite long. Here we go. Um, be careful not to break these things. Okay. Over here, we need the flat for the following. Some of my tools have seen a little bit of seawater in their lifetime. So, uh, there we go. Here we are. We can clean all those things. Okay. Um. Can remove that as well. 
see if this is going to fit. I'll do that. No, it's not fitting. I wonder if it's really necessary to do that. Seal it up a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Can clean that as well. Um, yeah, can clean that. All these little thingies. Can clean all these little thingies. You don't actually need to remove anything else. That's about it. I will just quickly show you this as well. Um, okay, let's just loosen up this thing. For that, I need another socket. has to go away see what I sometimes like to do is just to place these things back like this so that I don't lose them okay over here um, just take this out Think of it the other way around. You have to tighten it a little bit, actually all the way. And then you have to press onto this thing. You have to press. And there you will see. Okay. So let me just do that again. See it's like this. Press here, push here, and then you can Remove this as well. Over here. There we go. Take out that out of the way. That as well. This is not really needed for clean. Well, yeah, I don't think they will get any. Um, dirt into this these places but uh, yeah this is how everything fits together and you let that you just know okay um, that you don't need to remove that it's fine okay that's it okay so let's assemble all of this again um, and I think I will leave that for the next video um yeah but that's it for now thank you